Hi, it's Aurelius bringing you another Canva tutorial. If you loved my 20 Canva tips and tricks video, which I'll link up here if you haven't watched that yet, then you're going to love this video where I'm going to show you five Canva tips and tricks you wish you knew earlier. As usual, I'll go straight to the point in this video, but I'll provide timestamps in the description below to help you navigate through this video. So with that said, let's get to the video. Okay, tip number one that you're going to probably use on a regular basis is copying and pasting from one design to another. Let me show you. So here I've got an example design and what I wanna do is copy this text here specifically. What I'm going to do first is ungroup everything here since this is all grouped together. So I'll click ungroup. And what I want specifically to copy to another design is this embrace the outdoors. So I'll click that once I'm going to then copy or you can just use your keyboard using the keyboard shortcut. Next thing is I've got this other design where I wanna copy that text or more so paste it in. So now I can just paste it in and I've got that specific text that I want copied and pasted onto that new design. Now you don't need to go and create that text from scratch by going to text and then finding that heading and then resizing and matching up the colors. As you saw, all you need to do is just copy that specific element, text layer or background or image from that specific design and then pasting it to your new design. Again, I can copy this squiggly line here. Let's choose this one, I'm going to copy and then paste it right here. And there we go, we've got the squiggly line. Alternatively, what I can also do is just select everything, all the layers here, except for the uh, background. And now I'm just going to copy and then go back to this canvas. I'm just gonna delete all this and paste it in right here. And just like that, I've copied the entire group onto this new design. So is this something that you already knew? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are getting value so far, give this video a thumbs up. Now onto tip number two, which is uploading directly onto your Canva design. Here's a blank page that I've got. And I've also got an image right here. Now the traditional way or the way that you are probably doing it is by going to uploads, clicking on upload media, then you're going to device or choosing one of these other methods. And then after you do that, you've got to browse for that specific image and that can be very time consuming. What you can do rather is simply drag and drop your image straight and directly onto your design. Here I've got the image that I want to upload to Canva and this page specifically. All I need to do is just drag and then drop it directly onto the design. That'll paste it onto the design directly and then upload it to my media as you can see right here. And now I can do whatever I want, like crop it and move it just as I normally would if I were to upload directly to the upload media section too. This tip alone has been a huge time saver for me and I kind of stumbled upon this tip by accident and I just kind of thought, you know, maybe Canva's intuitive in a way where you can just drag and drop and just put things onto the actual design from your desktop or local computer. And lo and behold, it worked. Next up, tip number three is tidying up. Let's say you've got a bunch of elements. It could be text or images too, but in my case, I've got a bunch of these fruits. We've got apple, carrot, orange, and a banana. And what I'm going to do is just highlight everything. And I wanna just tidy it up. I wanna align it so it's all centered. You can do this with pretty much anything. And as soon as you highlight the objects that you want, then you go to position and then there's under space evenly, you click on tidy up. And just like that, with a click of a button, you've cleaned up that whole area. There's not much more to say with this, but there are some other options if you want to align it in different ways. So going back to position, once you've selected everything, just go to position. And then you've got align elements, top, left, middle, center, bottom, or right. And then under space evenly, you can also space it horizontally or vertically. Let me show you another example. I've messed this up purposely so that I can now tidy it up. So I'm going to go position, tidy up. But this time I want all the elements positioned at the bottom. So I'll select bottom and then that'll then align all the elements down the bottom. Next up, tip number four is using Canva's rulers. Now, if you've been a Photoshop user previously or if you're currently using it, you most likely are familiar with rulers. And the good thing about Canva is that they also have this feature. So then you can fine tune elements, texts and alignments 
very precisely based on pixels, inches, or whatever system that you use or measurement system that is. To enable rulers, once you're on your actual design, so right here, we're going to click on file, then to show rulers. Then you'll see the rulers. Now you may be asking, how do you change the measurement unit from pixels to inches, centimeters, or the metric system? Well, quite simply, you can do this by clicking on resize, but realistically, we aren't actually resizing anything. All we need to do is just select the size. We want to keep that design size. So at the moment, it's 1080 by 1080. I don't want to resize it at all. All I'm going to do is just select the system or the unit measurement that I want. So let's say I want millimeters instead and I'll select that and that is the millimeters converted and all I'm going to do now is just click on resize and now it's based on millimeters as opposed to pixels which was default uh, previously. An additional benefit of using rulers is that you can enable guides. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say I want to align this text and this element and this text as well all to the left right here at this point. All I need to do is just drag from the vertical point from the ruler, and let's say I want it all here. And now I know I can see this guide that will help me, more so guide me to where I should align the other elements in text. So for this one here, this element, I can just drag it to this point. Now it's locked in and it's I can use the same thing for the other elements or text that I have on this design. I can also set a horizontal guide. So let's say right here, and let's say I've got another element right here, and I want to also align it right here. I can also do so by following this guide, right? And I can use my keys, the down arrow on my keyboard to align it. And if I zoom in, that'll help me then see exactly where that horizontal guide is so that everything looks aligned. And once you're done with your guides, all you need to do to get rid of them is just drag it out and same for this vertical guide out. And then there we go. I don't know how many times I've had to turn to rulers and guides, but it's surely helped me with all the Canva designs that I've made and I'm sure it will for you too. Next up, tip number five is using Canva's shortcuts to help you speed up your designs and navigating your way through Canva. Thankfully, Canva's got this infograph where they provide Canva keyboard shortcuts. So I'll provide a link to this image and this page so that you can refer to it. And you can see moving elements one pixel at a time, just use your arrows on your keyboards or 10 pixels at a time by holding shift. And you've got shortcuts for aligning text, copying text and adding text easily by simply pressing the T button or key on your keyboard and things such as grouping elements or ungrouping elements with a few keys. But some of the most handy keyboard shortcuts that I use on a regular basis is number one, selecting layers behind particular text or other elements. You can see I've got text and then behind it, I've got this circle or element. I wanna select it, but it's kind of difficult because every time I wanna click on that circle, I end up selecting the text. So in order to select the layer behind it, all I need to do is just hold the command key and then that'll then select the layer behind it and then selecting again. And now I can see that blue box around it indicating that I've selected that instead. And now I can just move it, resize it or do whatever I wish with that particular element. And by the way, for Windows users, hold the control key as opposed to the command key, which is for the Mac and then use your mouse to drag, click, and select that element instead. Another go-to shortcut that I like to use is the duplicate shortcut. Let's say I wanna duplicate this heading. All I need to do on my Mac keyboard is to hold my option key. While you're holding that key on your keyboard, use your mouse to just drag, and then that'll make a clone. Another way to duplicate is to hold the command key or the control key on your Windows, and then pressing D, that'll make a copy just like that. And finally, another shortcut that you'll use on a regular basis is zooming in and out of your design. As you may or may not know, if you look down the bottom, you can see zoom, and then you can select the percentage uh, of how you want it zoomed in or out. But I find the best way is to simply hold the command key or the control key on your Windows system, and then pressing the plus or minus key like so. And you can see that I can zoom in and out just like that without having to keep selecting 100% or 125 and 200%, so on and so forth. So I'd rather use my keyboard and pressing the command 
or control key and then plus minusing. And there you have it. Those are the five Canva tips and tricks you wish you knew earlier. And I'm sure many of these tips will help you along the way with your Canva designs save you a lot of time and effort with creating your designs. If you learn a new thing or two in this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos. Mm -hmm.